The 2017 Eagle Spider GT Back in March of 2015, we ran a quick little article on the most beautiful cars ever built wherein each top speed staff rider was asked to submit their personal pick for the honorary title. Mine was the Eagle E-Type Speedster, because as I said in the piece, every angle is heavenly. The body panels transcend time. On looks alone, the Brits have done it right here. I still think that's true, but now, Eagle is at it once again with this angelic creation, the Eagle Spider GT. First announced at the London Classic Car Show in 2016, the Spider GT is a lot like the rest of Eagle's special edition lineup. It's essentially a highly customized Jaguar E-Type, melding old-school prestige with modern hand-built excellence. It's lightweight, comfortable, packed with modern suspension, topped with a foldable fabric roof, and quick off the line thanks to a straight-six engine with over 300 horsepower. It's also endlessly gorgeous to look at. You could call it a restomod, but I think that's a bit like calling Van Gogh's The Starry Night a picture. This thing is a masterpiece, a rolling piece of artwork in every sense, and absolutely worthy of your lust and respect. In case you were unaware, Eagle is a custom auto builder based out of the UK with more than three decades of experience creating bespoke E-types. Out of that history, four special edition models have emerged, including the original Eagle E-Type, the Eagle Speedster, the Eagle Low Drag GT, and now this, the Eagle Spider GT. Each of the Eagle Special Edition models is destined for extremely low production numbers, and the new Spider GT is no different. Given the level of customization Eagle can perform, customers have a huge range of options to choose from when it comes to suiting this thing to personal taste. Ready to learn more? Let's go! Continue reading to learn more about the Eagle Spider GT. Exterior We start with the Eagle Spider GT's greatest strength, the way it looks. The original E-Type was designed by Malcolm Sayer, and when it was released, Enzo Ferrari remarked that it was the most beautiful car ever made. With a history like that, it's a mighty audacious thing to think you can improve upon the formula. But Eagle gave it a go regardless, and the result has the same beautiful presence as the original, but with more contemporary highlights. Original Jaguar E-Type Roadster pictured on the left, Eagle Spider GT pictured on the right. Here, the Spider GT seems to take a little extra creative license, flaring the rear arches and adding even more sporty panache. Placing the original E-Type Roadster alongside the Spider GT, you can see where Eagle was going. The lines are quite close to the original, with a rounded, oval front intake bisected by a single chrome line. From here, the eye drifts back and into the corners, into equally shapely headlight cutouts that lead to the high front fenders. Chrome surrounds add some flash, while the original's chrome bumper line was deleted for a cleaner look. Matching the fender lines that raise from the headlights is a prominent hood bulge, which stretches back towards a steeply raked windshield. Towards the rear of the incredibly long hood line are the same louvered vents as the original. As we move towards the sides, the low-slung slab of speed takes on a more aggressive approach, with the rear-placed cab giving way to shapely haunches. With the top down, you can more easily appreciate the rear end in all its glory, with the top and bottom meeting at a triangular point. Here, the Spider GT seems to take a little extra creative license, flaring the rear arches and adding even more sporty panache. The lower bumper rises dramatically, flaunting twin exhaust pipes that seem ready to erupt in a six-cylinder serenade at a moment's notice. Slim, simple taillights are in the corners, looking similar in design to the original, while the old E-Type's chrome bumper elements are once again deleted in favor of bare simplicity. There's nothing extraneous or overly shouty about it, but the way it sits on the ground, the way it's poised over the wheels, the way it curves and flows, there's a magic to it that you could call irresistible. And I think that's a good way to sum it up. One of the things I like most about the Spider GT, and the E-Type in general for that matter, is the simplicity it offers. The shape speaks volumes on its own. There's nothing extraneous or overly shouty about it, but the way it sits on the ground, the way it's poised over the wheels, the way it curves and flows, there's a magic to it that you could call irresistible. It's the sort of look that's mighty hard to find these days, but Eagle managed to capture it perfectly, even adding a touch of modernity and a splash of uniqueness without ruining it. And that's no easy feat.
Now that I've sufficiently exhausted my drool reserves, let's get back to Earth and talk about something a little more concrete. When placed amongst its Eagle siblings, the Spider GT looks to combine the high performance and usability of the hard top low drag GT with the unlimited headroom and open top good looks of the Speedster. Basically, this one has all the good stuff, plus a folding soft top to offer the best of both worlds, whatever the weather. Underneath those shapely fenders, you'll find customized 16-inch wire wheels polished to a brilliant finish and wrapped in modern tires. Exterior Dimensions Interior Original Jaguar E-Type Roadster pictured on the left, Eagle Spider GT pictured on the right. Placed side by side with the original model from the 60s, you can see Eagle's approach to customizing the E-Type's interior is a lot like its approach to customizing the exterior. The same, broad strokes of the original are retained, while updates were added in just the right places to enhance what was already there. The steering wheel remains a three-spoke unit with a polished metal structure inside and wood trim along the rim. Behind the steering wheel are two large gauges for speed and engine RPM. In the foot well, you'll find three metal pedals. Probably the biggest upgrade that I can see is that swooping center console, which bisects the right and left side of the car much more definitively in a graceful, narrowing bend reaching towards the floor. Moving over to the center console, Eagle incorporated a broad, sweeping layout for the various toggle switches, buttons, and the shifter. The four-gauge layout up top is retained, while the shifter ball rests above a black shift boot. Leather upholstery is everywhere, including most importantly on the seats. Eagle says customers get a huge number of customization options to pick from, and I presume this includes the materials, colors, and similar features. In all, Eagle contends this car is for grand touring, which translates as sporty performance when you want it, and comfortable cruising when you don't. That said, I would have preferred to see Eagle go a little deeper in upgrading the interior. Probably the biggest upgrade that I can see is that swooping center console, which bisects the right and left side of the car much more definitively in a graceful, narrowing bend reaching towards the floor. It's a tasteful new take on the more squared-off approach of the original E-Type, and although the overall look and layout is still most definitely old school, it doesn't look antiquated. That said, I would have preferred to see Eagle go a little deeper in upgrading the interior. Perhaps a slightly newer shape for the dash, or a little more modern touch to the analog gauges would do the trick. After all, with an exterior that looks so damn good, you gotta have a cabin space to match, even if it means breaking a little bit more from the old E-Type design. Drivetrain As you might expect, under its elongated nose the Eagle Spider GT is equipped with a classic inline six-cylinder engine from Jag's XK family. In fact, it's pretty much the same big valve twin cam straight six that Eagle used with the low drag GT. Displacement comes in at 4.7 liters, with all aluminum construction, mounted longitudinally ahead of the cabin. Eagle worked with Crosthwaite and Gardiner, a UK-based historic racing parts supplier, to develop the engine, and the whole thing was cast and machined in Eagle's surgically clean engine facility. Thanks to unique internals components, power is rated at an ample 330 horsepower at 4,800 revolutions per minute and 340 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 revolutions per minute. Every ounce of power is routed to the rear axle by way of a 5-speed manual transmission, and gets split by a limited slip differential. Power is rated at an ample 330 horsepower at 4,800 revolutions per minute and 340 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 revolutions per minute. Every ounce of power is routed to the rear axle by way of a 5-speed manual transmission, and gets split by a limited slip differential. It's enough output to propel the Eagle Spider GT to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds. Meanwhile, top speed is in excess of 170 miles per hour. Due to the car's relatively low curb weight, it's enough output to propel the Eagle Spider GT to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds. Meanwhile, top speed is in excess of 170 miles per hour. As a reference, the Series 1 Jaguar E-Type went 0 to 60 mph in 6.5 seconds and had a top speed of 150 miles per hour. That's mighty quick for a car like this. 
Pair that surprising speed potential with the crackling backfire of a British 6 at full song, and you have quite the recipe for a visceral driving experience. Chassis and Handling Eagle says it starts each Spider GT build with an original E-Type to provide the bones. The chassis uses an aluminum monocoque construction, with modifications adding deeper sills, a lower floor pan, and of course, those lovely flared wheel arches. The aluminum intensive structure contributes heavily to the car's low curb weight, but Eagle trims even more fat thanks to the aluminum gearbox and the all-aluminum engine. Magnesium is also part of the materials list. When it's all said and done, the Eagle Spider GT weighs in at just 1,029 kilograms, or 2,269 pounds. That means it's got a power-to-weight ratio of 326 horsepower per metric ton, which ain't bad at all for a classic throwback like this. For the sake of comparison, the old Series 1 E-Type's curb weight was between 1,256 kilograms (2,770 pounds) and 1,402 kilograms (3,090 pounds). When it's all said and done, the Eagle Spider GT weighs in at just 1,029 kilograms or 2,269 pounds. That means it's got a power-to-weight ratio of 326 horsepower per metric ton, which ain't bad at all for a classic throwback like this. Like the E-Types of old, the Spider GT also incorporates four-wheel independent suspension. Eagle went for a mix between comfort and performance with the tuning, adding modernized suspension bits in the quest to achieve the best of both worlds when it comes to ride quality and handling. The front uses double wishbones with an anti-roll bar, plus adjustable dampers from Olin's. The rear uses a lower wishbone, a load-bearing drive shaft, and an anti-roll bar, and gets twin springs and additional adjustable dampers from Olin's. Eagle went for a mix between comfort and performance, adding modernized suspension bits in the quest to achieve both superior ride quality and nippy handling. Further upgrades include new brakes to replace the E-Type's old discs, including aluminum calipers from AP Racing, and ventilated rotors measuring in at 315mm in front and 280mm in back. The brakes are servo-assisted. Rounding it out are aluminum and stainless steel wheels, which come staggered at 6x16 inches in front, and 7.5x16 inches in the rear. Making the traction are tires measured at 225 55ths R16 in front, and 235 60 R16 in the rear. Prices Although Eagle declines to give exact numbers, rest assured only a handful of these machines will be built. If you're interested in commissioning one for yourself, you best be clipping those coupons. Pricing comes in at a whopping £695,000 per vehicle, or $867,266 at current exchange rates, January 30, 2017. Conclusion The looks, the speed, the power, the sound, this car certainly offers a wonderful combination sensations. This isn't some gaudy supercar, it's a four-wheeled tribute to the excellence of motoring tradition, made for those who are passionate about cars, built by folks who get it. Few automobiles out there offer the same sort of character and presence as this. Which is why Eagle can charge damn near a million bucks for one. Everything is hand-built, and the builders applied a craftsman's eye to detail that's very much an old-school approach. I still think these things are the most beautiful cars on the planet, and I can't wait to see what Eagle churns out next. Love it looks so good, you'll want to sell your house modern technology under the skin makes it both comfortable and fun to drive a soundtrack to die for. Leave it eye-wateringly expensive interior could use a little extra something extremely limited production numbers. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.